This is the TRX inverted row. To start, attach your TRX or Olympic rings, whatever you're using, to a pull-up bar or squat rack. To set up, you want the heels dug in and the toes up, the body a nice straight line. So Peter here is going to lift his hips off the ground. We want a slight contraction of the glutes, the core engaged, the head in a nice neutral position. So he's going to have a neutral spine all the way from his head to his hips. From here, he's going to perform a row. And as with all our rows, we want about a 45 degree angle in between the elbow and the torso. Note, he's also, as he pulls up, he's not pulling his elbows behind his back. We don't want excessive range of motion where the elbow comes behind the back. Common mistakes we'll see on this exercise are people arching through it, trying to get that range of motion through their back. Their head will shoot forward too. That, they'll also have their elbows too snug into their sides, and that'll actually exaggerate that anterior scapular tilt here that can cause a lot of shoulder pain. To make this exercise more difficult, you can work your feet farther down. The uh, highest progression would be your feet elevated on a bench or a box. And then from there, you can add weight vests. To make this exercise easier, you simply work your feet farther back so they're using less of your body weight. So this would be easier than with his feet down below like he had earlier.